All right, so let's say that you're working on a project inside of Visual Studio Code and you wanna see what's going on in the browser as you make changes. Well, you probably have your VS Code right next to your browser or you have them both open and you're toggling between them. But did you know that you can do all of that, get a live browser preview right inside of VS Code itself? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today is the browser preview extension, which as you can see in here, will give you a live browser preview right inside of VS Code. From the perspective of someone who records a lot of video, this is really, really helpful because either I have two screens side by side, VS Code and Chrome, or I'm swiping between them on the Mac, or I'm uh, control or command and tab between them to switch between the open windows. And this is just really, really nice to be able to have this browser preview right inside of VS Code. Awesome. Before we do that though, I do wanna say as always, if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications as new content comes out. And if you specifically enjoy the content that I put out on VS Code, on Visual Studio Code, you can check out my Learn Visual Studio Code course on Udemy. I'll send you a coupon if you're interested, you can send me a message or comment below and I'll send you a coupon for $10 for this course. It's four hours of great content of basically everything you need to know about the most powerful and popular text editor for web development. Now, with that said, one of the things I do wanna mention is uh, VS Code is, is, I would say, the most popular editor out there now for web development. If you look at anybody's tutorials, they're almost certainly using VS Code, but one of the other really popular ones is Brackets. Brackets.io is where you can find it. And one of the things that they really did well is they have a live preview built in. So they will let you see in real time inside of the editor what's going on in the browser and uh, and your code side by side. So you can see it in real time and it can make changes and things like that. So in VS Code, we have an answer to this. Well, there's actually two things. There's one is the live server extension. I've got a link to that video that you can check out, the live server extension. So let's actually go ahead and see that in action with the live server extension inside of an HTML file. I've got this little button down here that says go live. I can do this and this will not show it to me in the browser, but it will open that application inside of my browser, Chrome in this case, and open it on a server that will serve that application. Now the limitations of this is this will only serve things that are basically static files. Cause it's, if you're using React, React has create React app, has a built-in auto reloading server. But if you're just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you don't get that sort of server thing. So the live server extension in VS Code will basically take your regular vanilla JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and it will create a server and then serve those things for you and let you access them in the browser. But again, that's in the browser, it's not inside of your editor. So let's look at what we got here. One, the source code for this, if you're interested, you can grab this. This is actually a full course called Build a Quiz App with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can go and find that. I'll have a link, uh, link up here to the playlist and you can go and find that on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, you can go through that, you can see all the code, but just to kind of show you how this works, again, with the live server extension, I had the ability to, to start this and then go to the browser and see it. But I don't have the ability to do any of that inside of the editor itself. So let's look at the browser preview extension. Let me just bring this up. And this is saying a real browser preview inside of your editor that you can debug, and that's really cool that you can add debugging to this too. Now this is created by Kenneth Auchenberg or Auchenberg. I don't know exactly how to say his name. He's definitely worth a follow on Twitter at Auchenberg. I follow him, um, has done a lot of great stuff um, with VS Code. I think he used to work on the VS Code team maybe and created the extension that we're talking about today. So he's definitely worth a follow in this sense. And what we're gonna look at is how, as you can see in here, we can bring up a preview right inside of VS Code and it uses actually a headless browser uh, to be able to display this stuff so it doesn't actually open Chrome, it uses the headless browser and then displays it right there in VS Code. So if you have this installed and then you open up your command palette, you can see a browser preview command and you can type this out and search for it if you wanted to, browser preview. And it's gonna, if I click enter and open the browser preview, it's going to take me to a default page. You can actually customize this. But what I want to do is if I look down here, I've got the live server extension let me open up localhost. That live server extension is maybe not serving. Let's see. Let me restart and have it just open it up. I think it's just a nested path here. Let's go open with live server. 
And this thing should now open up. Yeah, it's just in that specific folder to that game page that I was in. All right, so with that running, I can grab this URL and now I can take that and just paste it right inside of this browser preview inside of VS Code. And now we get our app and that looks a little bit, that looks a little bit big on this preview, but you see, I can actually see my code. And if I went in, I think I'm in the master section here and I changed the app CSS. Let's pull this over to the left here. Let's give a little bit more space. If we say change, let's see, let's go down to some of the game parts. So I'm gonna open up the game CSS inside of the quiz app master. All right, so let's find something in here that we can change. Let's change the color of this choice prefix, which is this letter A, B, and C over here. Let's change the color of that to red and notice that this auto reloads, it live reloads, and we can see this in real time. Now, again, that's probably what you're used to with the live server, but now you can see it right inside of your browser, which again, for creating screencasts and live streaming and things like that is really, really neat. Now, the other impact of this is that not only can you use this with something like the live server, you can use this with any sort of server like a Create React App server that runs uh, or Gatsby, which is what my site is built on top of. So let me, I'm gonna open up, let me kill, uh, kill that, kill the live server here. And I'm going to open up my personal site. This is a Gatsby site. Gatsby is, uh, allows me to build a static site and it uses React, which is really nice. So to start that thing up, I would run Gatsby develop. That's gonna create a live reloading server. And then with the browser preview, let's open that up again. This will take a second for it to finish its build process, but once it's done, it will be running at localhost 8000. And I should be able to see this pop up here. So there is my site. I can go to my blog, for example, click on one of these, and then maybe, let's see, I think it's in the post CSS. And let's get these side by side. You can see you can actually make that window bigger but now it just shrunk down and then let's grab maybe the post title and let's just say the margin bottom is uh 10 rem or something really big and that ought to push this down so you can see this is live reloading with a totally different type of application so just static html css using the live server extension to run it and now running uh, basically a live reloading server that Gatsby gives you. You could do create React app, you could do Vue, you could do Angular and you can see it right here inside of your browser. Now you can tell this is a little bit slow as I scroll through here, it's a little bit slower than what my, uh, my website would actually perform at. Uh, but I, so you just kind of have to gauge for yourself whether or not that's worth it. But it is really cool to have this just built right in uh, to your browser and be able to just basically tab through this and work with it this way, really, really cool. So just to recap, Brackets is an editor that has had a feature like this for a while. I think that is one of the features that people stuck with Brackets for before turning over or switching over completely to VS Code. You definitely want to try out the browser preview extension. It's great. You're going to want to run it, especially for these simple applications where you can see in real time right in the browser what's going on for demos, for videos, however you want to use it. Check it out. I'm curious, question of the day, are you using the browser preview extension and are you using the live server extension? If you're not using either one of those, you should definitely check them out, but let me know in the comments. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully this will kind of speed up your development process. It'll be useful for you inside of VS Code because VS Code is amazing and you can do everything you want to almost right inside of VS Code. So thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the future one later on.